What's happening guys? Yeah, so today thought I'd do something a little bit different. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a, a magnet fishing um, little expedition. So I thought today after work I'd come stop here at Homestead Dam in Benoni in the East Rand. And um, yeah, uh, go and do a bit of magnet fishing at the dam wall. Um, one of my first magnet fishing uh, outings that I did when I first got my magnet uh, was here at Homestead and I uh, found quite a few things. Um, I'll put it in the link below so you guys can go check that out. Uh, got myself a DSTV decoder and a few odds and ends so that was a lot of fun. Uh, so I thought I'd go and throw the magnet out a bit and uh, yeah, go see how it goes. If you've been enjoying my YouTube channel um why not hit that subscribe button down below uh hit the thumbs up throw me a comment uh, let me know what you guys think of the channel of the videos and um i'll reply to every single one of you guys i uh, promise you that um but anyways yeah let's get to it cue the cinema now <laughs> Right guys, I'm at the first spot at the dam wall over here as you can see. Pretty cool. Um, sorry if it's very noisy here as I am right next to the highway as you saw in the, the drone footage. But uh, yeah, we'll do what we can to make it entertaining. The last time I was here, I got a quite a few, a few items, a lot of steel. So um, yeah, if you guys want to see that video, like I said at the beginning, I'll put a link below, and you guys can go check out what uh, I got in the other video. Okay, there we go. First cast, first find. It looks to be some type of car part. Yep, first find. And some scrap. Well, let's see if there's anything else. I can feel the magnet getting stuck every once in a while. So I think there is a lot of big steel items here. See, like now I can feel something moving and then it's either a little bit too heavy to bring it up. I got the top of a coke can. And yeah, guys, uh, some of you are wondering where I got this magnet. Um, I ordered it on uh, on Wish. It took about almost two months for it to come. And these magnets are fun. If you've got a bit of free time to go mess around, you never know what you find. I've already found a Swiss knife. Um, and a few odds and ends so never know you might find a weapon or a gun or a knife or in one of my previous videos i found a fishing toolbox old school fishing toolbox and uh, that was cool uh, it was nice to find also guys um, on my youtube channel i will be uploading a little bit more now 
Um, on a weekly basis, I'm gonna try fit in two videos a week. Uh, one will always be to do with fishing, my bass fishing, and uh, that will be on a Friday or a Saturday. Uh, and then on, um, on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, depending, I will be uploading some drone footage of dams I've been to, um, or reviews, or um, the, the, the baits I use, or the gear I use, or things like that. And yeah, we start with the steel bits. Lots of this around I have random boaters out there checking me out thinking what the hell is this like doing eh well guys I am magnet fishing looking for treasure that's what I'm doing there's definitely some heavy stuff steel stuff here I can feel it running to come and then it just drops so I think if I had a, a stronger magnet I could probably pick these things up I think I've picked up another piece of steel yep another steel rod it's got a point on one side so it's probably like an old uh, fishing rod um, peg for the carp fisherman and then uh, yeah my first bottle top of today usually this is what I find plenty of also for you guys that don't know this dam also has some nice big fish really good fish I think I've picked something up here yeah? <laughs> right so an old fraud can and another steel steel bar uh, i'm just trying to see it's probably like a peg or something but look, yeah looks like it was an old fishing stand peg also another another steel bar look at that Solid piece of steel bar. So sitting at the second spot on the other side of the damn wall. See if anything happens this side. Very, very dirty this side. So it's, yeah, not, not, a, not a pleasant smell, yeah? Already I can feel steel just below me, but I cannot lift it. It's just too heavy. Alrighty, um, I have found which seems to be like a choke something you'd have on a boat or a car or a bike almost like a little choke lever so that's that's something and then steel bits what have we here I got a can and some type of latch or door latch or something weird. Magnetizing something, yeah. Huh? 
Oh, what is that? Hey! I found Mr. Crab's home. <laughs> How's that, guys? Mr. Crab's home. It's like an old... I don't know, like a, a housing for a radio, maybe? No, yeah. There's a plug at the back. Old computer box. Something like that. Let me... Let this guy go back home. Took Mr. Krabby's home away from him. <laughs> but that was quite a... Uh, quite a thing to find inside there. I thought he would have come out by the time I lifted him up. Hey, I found the nut for that bolt that I found. <laughs> so guys, I didn't find anything fantastic. Lots of steel, as you saw. Um, usually on my outings, I find something unique, something different. But uh, today was not meant to be. But uh, I still had fun bringing out some steel stuff and just finding things with magnets is like just I don't know it's a weird sensation but um, yeah guys if you enjoy watching all this different content on my channel let me know hit that thumbs up subscribe let me know what you think anywho I will catch you guys on the next video peace